A growing problem has a neighborhood in Bloomfield Hills demanding answers. What began as just a pothole has now grown to a full fledged road collapse. Here's a side by side look of the situation when it started, and this is how it looks now. The homeowners say they're sick and tired of contacting the county without getting any answers. And all of this happening on Devonbrook Drive. That's near Long Lake and Telegraph. And that is where we find 7 Action News reporter Brian Palmerini live to show us the damage, Brian. Well, I'm here on Devonbrook Drive and take a look at this. This is where this road collapsed here. The entire roadway blocked off and again, the street has collapsed in on itself and this all started out as just a pothole. Here's a picture of what this pothole once looked like back in October of 2016. It's been two years, no work, and two weeks ago things started to get worse. In the last two weeks, it's gone from uh, a small pothole that was just kind of on the side of the road. And as you can see now, the road has almost completely collapsed. And residents are upset. They say they've contacted the Road Commission for Oakland County, but the Road Commission is telling them it's now up to the Department of Environmental Quality. They have shifted it from a request to an emergency request, but we still haven't heard anything from anybody yet. I've left uh, messages for the DEQ and I haven't heard back from anybody yet. Residents say they're worried about safety and even property values, and they hope this pothole Hole turned sinkhole is cleared up soon. I mean, it started out as just an annoyance at having these orange barrels and all this netting out in front of our house to a complete road collapse liability. Now, I did speak with a representative from the Road Commission. It, this is their culvert, is their responsibility to fix it. They say they are waiting for approval from the DEQ, but they don't have an actual repair date set just yet. So they do have to hear from the DEQ, and they would like to see this repaired sooner than later, just like these residents. Live in Bloomfield Hills, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Brianne, thank you.